Hi, I'm Mandy, artist from Grey Boy Pet Prints, and this is Grammy. And Hi. she's also an artist. She's my grandmother. She's the one who encouraged me to start the etchings. My pet photography clients had pets that they had lost but wanted to do something special with the images that they had taken themselves. So these etchings were a wonderful way to help them transform just a snapshot into fine art and have something to remember their companion by. And we'll show you how we make an etching. The first step of the etching process is when a client sends me a couple pictures. From there, we print it to a transparency that we will then burn onto the metal plate. So I'm gonna get out the light sensitive plate. Here's Mary's doggy Ace. Mary is photographer at the Sage Hound. So the light goes through the transparency onto the light sensitive plate and burns the image, the little lines of the image into the plate. So we don't want this exposed anymore, so I put it face down and we move over to the sink where we're gonna rinse the plate. Here is the plate, the image of Ace and I'm gonna finish mixing the ink here. So I'm mixing in two different colors. This comes out with like a nice uh, sepia tone. So this is just a teeny tiny bit of ash from a special companion who has passed. So you can see how much we're adding. It's just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. So I'm just mixing it in to the ink. Then we kind of get a little bit on the tool here and then ink the plate with this. So this is what we do. We just kind of put the ink all over and we're pressing it into the lines of the plate. We're also pressing the ink into the lines just a tad more. Looks good. So we're gonna move over to the press now. fine art paper here that's soaking in the tray. It needs to be wet when we pair it with the inked plate. And I gotta line it up right, make sure it's even. Awesome. Beautiful. So the last step in finishing the etching is to sign it. 